New at 11, it's been three years since road rangers discovered 10-year-old Victor Barahona doused in chemicals near death in a pickup truck along I-95. His twin sister, Nubia, already dead, wrapped in a garbage bag in the bed of the truck. Many still criticize a system that prosecutors say could not protect the twin siblings from their own adoptive parents. News Channel 5's Dan Corcoran has a look at how much or how little the system has changed since 2011. The images are burned into our minds. Jorge Barraona's truck on the side of the highway in West Palm Beach. Clinging to life inside that truck was his adopted 10 year old son, Victor. Nearby, Victor's twin sister, Nubia. Her dead body was found in a bag and doused in chemicals. Prosecutors say abuse started long before February 14th, 2011. Every Valentine's Day, it should sting everybody what happened in this house. Paul Newman was guardian ad litem, the court-appointed advocate for the Barraona children before Nubia's tragic death. The kids that I was involved with would live in this house, you know, will always be in my, in my mind, my heart. He spoke with me at the Barraona family's former home in West Miami. The pain that these kids went through should go through the heads of everybody who cares about kids or about people. And it was here along Interstate 95 three years ago today that it became clear to many people that these two children had slipped through the cracks of the very system that was put in place to protect them. The Florida Department of Children and Families says it's made big changes in who is hired and how those people better safeguard the most vulnerable in our communities. The case really was the beginning of a total redevelopment of the entire child protective infrastructure. Newman doesn't believe that much has changed in three years. Maybe the pendulum's been pushed that much. It's not enough. But he finds hope in Victor, the survivor, who's now 13 and living in Texas. He's with family. He's with loved ones, which is where he should have been with from the beginning. Jorge Barraona awaits a child abuse trial in Palm Beach County, while both he and his now former wife, Carmen, face first-degree murder charges in Miami-Dade County. If convicted there, they could face the death penalty. I'm sure there are people that also looked away when they could have maybe done just a little bit more. I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.